Hi friends, welcome to my channel Steps to UK. Today we will discuss about the interview questions for a senior medical lab assistant. So once you receive an interview call, you should always focus on the keywords in the job description, especially in the last page of the job description. They will mention some points there. So all questions will come from each keyword in the job description. So uh, the questions like uh, bi um, biological hazard, health and safety procedures, how, what are the priority samples in a, uh, in a laboratory, and the questions will come like MRSA, CTGCs, and how you are managing your time and what is the importance of communication skills. So these are some points that we can find from the job description. So pre, be, be aware of all these keywords and be prepared before you are going for an interview. So today we will discuss some questions that are how I answered in each questions and we will discuss them. Introduce yourself or tell me about yourself. In this time, talk about skills and qualities that you have which matches for the job descriptions, essential and desirable criteria. And this time, you should satisfy them that you can handle this position very neatly. You can start like this. Thank you for the opportunity to be interviewed for this position. I am Jibin. I have completed my postgraduate in microbiology from India. I started my professional life as a microbiologist in Salipram Cooperative Hospital in 2012. As a microbiologist, I understand the importance of accuracy, maternal dexterity, flexibility and responsibility and teamwork from this hospital. It was a semi-automated laboratory and most of the processing was done by manual. After two and a half years, I got another opportunity to work as a lab technologist in Kuwait and it was well developed, fully automated laboratory where I started using Vitek, Bactolet, Masterclip, Hamilton Throne, and IQ200. I strictly followed health and safety protocols. I attend training programs, standard operating procedures, external quality assessment programs like NICWAS. If I got this opportunity, I assure you that I can blend my knowledge and contribute for work and add value to the organization. What are the common health and safety procedures in a laboratory? Before that, you should read health and safety guidelines and standard operating procedures of each bench. You can start answer like this. All staff should take their own responsibilities to ensure a health and safety condition in a lab. We should wear fastened long coat and closed toe shoes. Wear all personal protective equipment such as googles, gloves, masks as according to the section that you are working. No eating, drinking and smoking inside a lab. No application of cosmetics inside a lab. Do not suck pen or pencils and strictly follow standard operating procedures, should be aware of spillage policies, incident reporting, and fire policies. In my point of view, these are the common health and safety procedures in a laboratory. What would you do if you noticed a colleague failing to follow laboratory safety protocols? First and foremost, I, I would Tell him to stop the work and explain the exact procedures to be done and try to explain about the consequences of his misbehavior. Then I recommend him to read and follow standard operating policies according to working bench. If he is continuing to do the same, I would inform lab senior. For instance, when I was working in Kuwait, one of my new colleague was trying to culture a urine sample. He incinerated the loop till it red hot and immediately put inside a bottle to take a loop full of sample. I hear a clear sound from the sample and immediately I told him to stop the procedure. I explained him about why we are cultured the urine samples and what is incineration of a loop and the importance of wait for the loop to cool. He recognized that he was trying to kill pathogen instead of culture. Then I recommend him to read SOP of urine sample. What is the importance of communication in laboratory? In my point of view, proper communication skills, both oral and written, helps to convey accurate information to prevent medical errors. 
according to hospital policies we have a specimen acceptance protocol specimen should be matched with samples three identifiers such as name hospital number and date of birth should be noted on sample and the request forms and tests to be done and clinical details are relevant clinical details helps a technician to take extra care while dealing with samples so these can relate with written communication in patient request request form when i was working in india we receive a blood culture without patient details in bottle and when i receive that sample i call to the ward and inform about this suddenly ward nurse come and apologize then noted all details if we didn't communicate properly that will be a medical error so we be aware of all the consequences of errors time management is really important in work what do you think about this time management skills help us to reduce stress and clarify strain around time Stress reduction improves performance of a technician to focus on job. Most of the hospitals have turn around time to achieve quality assurance and service, especially in microbiology the lab. They have a target time to release a culture and sensitivity result. For example, we use different culture media to grow pathogen from different sites. If a technician forget to add any of these media will delay the result. For example if we receive an immunosuppressed patient's wound sample we are using blood agar mcconkey agar neomycin agar and sap plate if a technician forget to add a sap plate the delay to release final result next day we repeat sample in sap plate and it takes another day to release result thereby we are creating a gap due to an error which badly impact the treatment procedures so time management and accountability is really important in medical laboratory why are troubleshooting skills important in a laboratory troubleshooting is systematic approach to problem solving we are working in laboratories with semi automated and fully automated machines and in my point of view troubleshooting ability is necessary in every laboratory workers to solve errors For instance when i was working in kuwait i was preparing two media using master clave aes dispenser and autoclave we were three colleagues who worked together i load one media and went for break within 5 minutes one of my colleague called me to come back quickly they recognized a problem with prime pump and they are unable to load media through the pump so they decided to uh, throw the next media in conical flask because we know that media will solidify if it do not pour suddenly i recommend manual pouring because i learned it from india we clean a trolley and disinfect entire area we wear fresh gloves and one of my colleague opened petri plates for pouring media i started pouring and another one carefully moved polar media and we and we successfully complete our task without a loss